This is going to be fun tattling to serve. Right off the bat, Deckel with his Ernie successful <laughs> attempt. So that's one this for is, Deckel. This is, might even be more than five. And and we have the count right here in front zero, of us. Zero, so one. thank you guys for tuning in and having fun with us here on Grandstand Court. Oh, come on. Great hands there by both sides. Fast paced match, a lot of intensity. We can't count off uh, count that. Tyson is going to be barking out here, too. we got to keep a tally on that. Tyson's barks. No! Oh, the counter! That. <laughs> so ahead of it. I love how ready he was for that. Deckel. Deckel's like, try that again on me. Coach of the year. Two, zero, two. Oh, oh there's the Ernie. <laughs> one to one. I'm telling you, that number is probably <laughs> going to be a little bit low. I mean, but now that each team has reminded each other yeah, of what they, they could they might, do. Maybe they won't go there anymore. Exactly. Zero, two, Lessons have been learned. Well, let's see if they really learn quickly. gets on those balls too, which makes it so much more jeopardizing when you put it anywhere near him. Low to the ground, ridiculous reach, great placement. Oh, oh, what happened there? That's a big was serve. That was it yeah, serve that, that was in. So oh we're going to put one rally tally mark. So James hit it so hard that Deckel's paddle fell out of his hand. One, two, two. <laughs> That's how hard James hit a serve. Oh my goodness. Looking for the Ernie. Oh. Tyson with an uncharacteristic short dink into the net. Bounce a little bit off on that one. Okay, still a big serve, but. Beckle Bar is able to handle it on yep. that on that return, so we got a side out and a tie game. And that drop miss by James was just timed a little bit off, which is why he caught the top of the ball on that backhand, which led it to go to the net. Tyler looking for the Ernie. Ah, a little unlucky off the net. Yeah, sitting on the counter. This is like my favorite matchup today. I think it's because we have some bets going on. <laughs> <laughs> Always makes it interesting. Some commentator bets. <laughs> right. Yeah, Look at his hand speed on those backhand flick counters. It's amazing how much pace they can generate with such little backswing. Yeah. Well, the there's no backswing. Everything's way out in front. Yeah, early. Way early. I'm talking about like... Oh, yeah. You're a catcher. You yeah, know what I mean? but even before the ball even clears the net, they're already sitting on it. Point. Oh, oh, oh. Service oh, winner by who? But, oh, but by that was Tyler. by Tyler. Okay, he wasn't part um, of this bet. He wasn't. But kudos to Tyler. Three, two, one. Big serve. By Tyler. Oh, he's <laughs> looking for it. Oh. <laughs> See, now that's the downside for looking for the Ernie too much, is when you've exposed yourself like that, your partner is kind of left Three, to dry, because if you don't complete a successful Ernie, they have to cover the whole court. Out of position. Yeah. 
that tape again. I think you'll see the tape come into play quite a bit here because they're aiming so close to the tape that it's bound to hit. Yeah, it's all about accuracy in this game for sure. Good point, Jay. for the successful <laughs> attempts. We told you. <laughs> <laughs> Service oh, winner by Tech <laughs> Deckle. Are they tied up now? <laughs> They're tied up. Oh, no, wait, wait. I, I rallied it. Put that on the wrong spot. So that's a serve. So yeah, James and Deckle have three, three, one. one service winner each. Mm -hmm. Man, we should have tallied winners off the net. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start that in game two. <laughs> this could go to the distance. Three, three, one. Tight game. Oh. Nice. Great, Great job. Tax by Tyler Loon. I've never seen him come that far over in men's doubles. I've seen it in mix. Yeah. But <laughs> in fact, in men's doubles, he's usually trying to like prowl the sideline to look for his one. Ernie's. Oh, the tape again! I'm telling you, we should have kept a tally on winner tapes, but it's okay. We still have more game to play. We have a lot of game to play and a lot of things to look forward to. Like the service winner right Five, here by James Ignatovich. Oh, calling it. <laughs> game is becoming a lot more aggressive right now for some reason. Wondering if that's part of their strategy today. Wow, and a timeout is called by Bar McGuff. So Tyson McGuffin is on the left side and initiates yep. to Tyler. Which was different than what we've seen so far. Tyler had been the initiator up until this point. He knew it, but the deck was too far gone from that yeah, one. He was so far ahead of it. He was He's prepared so early. And then the ball hit his armpit. Seven, three, two. Oh, he caught him in the shoulder that time. He even ducked to try to get out of the way. I'm telling you, the pace of the game is so fast that it, you don't even have the time or opportunity to react to what's coming off the yeah. paddle face. It's crazy. And Deckel already knew ahead of time it was going out, and he still couldn't get out of the way. Three, two. Oh, oh, an Ernie that attempt. That would have been an Ernie. Successful Ernie, but... We're, we're not keeping tired. track of yeah. James's earnings. <laughs> we're only keeping track of Tyler's and Deckel's because they're notorious to to take the yeah, earning yeah. there on their side line. All right, here we go. Down by five. They need a lot of work to do here. Mm, that's not going to help the cause. They need to make that third shot to get to the net. Tyler, who's sitting on that, waiting for that backhand attack with the backhand of his own. Steck will move the towel here. Eight, three, one. Mm, service Tyler. winner by Tyler. Yeah. Actually, Tyler might be in the lead for service uh, winners. Exactly. We should have kept tally of, of all players. Well, I think he's at two. Let's see if they could take back the service possession Nine. after this timeout. Able to. <laughs> Tyler and James are both counting really well with their one handers right now. Ten, 
Tyler is berating himself for choosing that shot at that point when he was that far behind the baseline. Lower percentage play there. 10 3 2. And they're able to save, yeah, and they're able to save that game point, which is super important. They have a lot of work to do here. Let's see what happens. Three, ten, one. Oh, wow. Second serve. Oh, oh no. miss serve. But he went for it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Three, ten. Three, ten, two. Again with the quick hands. So the thing that probably throws Deckel and Tyson off on those speed ups is Tyler is a lefty. So normally that speed up would have gone to a righty's right shoulder, but mm -hmm. that's something that Tyler is able to combat well if he's a lefty. Those are the kind of points that Tyson and Deckel are so successful at. So they need to get to that point. And I'm glad that they did it here in, the, in late game number two to hopefully bring, take that over to game two if they don't get it. Oh, no one took it. My goodness, what a way to get to end game number one here. On the yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens right here. That's not going to do it. So that third drop still proving to be an issue for Deckel on that forehand in the middle in this game so far. So once again, notice where that speed up from Deckel went. It went to Tyler's like body towards his right shoulder. Ended up in a counterattack from his backhand, just like in the first game. Goodness. Oh, Deckel is receiver. upset Double with the paddle throw. Oh, yes. we got a little bit of warning there from uh, referee Mary, who's actually a lifetime member here herself. Mm. Okay. Two, zero, two. Have a spark right here. Hopefully they can do something good off this timeout. Yes. So we know their game plan. They're just looking to stay on the gas pedal. Mm -hmm. And over to Deckel. Mm -hmm. Deckel's a big target. He does have quick hands, but it's hard to get out of the way off the speed. Taking advantage of that big backswing by Tyson. This is the best I've seen Tyler Ling play. Yeah, he's very aggressive, but also precise with his aggression right now. This partnership between him and James Ignatovich is probably giving him that elevation. Yep, and that's just a really tough drive by James. The positioning of that drive is not an easy one to execute. Dipping to Tyson's right knee with that type of pace and spin. So Tyler knew that drop was going to be kind of suspect even before he hit that ball. I think it's because it's a balance thing. 
He said watch it before you even Zero, made contact five, with it. <laughs> oh, Tyler was so early on that ball that he hit the bottom of the ball. <laughs> he almost had to slow himself down. They're targeting Tyler. Yeah, they're trying to target Tyler while they're trying to target Deckel. Right. <laughs> Tyson McGuffin mm -hmm. should be on the serving list here in JW Johnson beat Connor and Christian to go to the semifinal. So the winner of this match will take them on tomorrow. Wow. And that's what timeouts sometimes do. They just block that momentum swing. Three, five, two. But they have one more shot at this. Yeah, oh, what a go. counter by Tyler. Yeah. Seeing a pattern in his game today. Just quick hands, mm -hmm. quick aggression. Yeah. Five, Not three, many one. mistakes. Just very crisp pickleball. Undercut that a little bit too much. It was James Agonwich on that drop? Five, three, two. You. 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 Me. You. Oh, good oh. leave by Tyson. Oh my gosh, how frustrating for Tyler. He hit like, I want to say like- Five drops. At least Backspin. five to six drops, yeah. Very solid place drops too. Yeah. See that counter again yeah. by yes. Tyler. He's gotten them quite a few times on that. That's something new that I haven't seen from Tyler and I've known this kid forever. Good on Tyler. Yeah. Oh, right as we say that, <laughs> that always happens. Hey, but isn't that a uh, serving? Um... No, that was off the drive. Four, five, oh, okay, two. okay, we'll take that away. When they're able to get to that point, mm -hmm. it always goes in favor yeah. to Deco and Tyson. That's right. Always. That's a good point. Five, five, two. Oh. Okay. Got a little momentum swing here. much. What do you do with that speed up from Ignatowicz? I mean, you can't hit it hard back. <laughs> All you can do is just reset that, but it's so low. It's hard to absorb the pace. Yeah. Deco with a little bit of pace of his own. I feel the energy from Tyson and Deco right now. Yeah. I feel their energy. I want to I want to see that energy from Tyler and Five, James six, as well. Two. You see it from James mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler is just a little bit more subdued. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Got a little bit of a shoulder bump going. James always looks like he's w trying to win the world's uh, fastest jump rope <laughs> contest. <laughs> six, he's five, jumping rope right now. <laughs> That's a great speed up by Tyson. Right at the body of James and Gunwich. Seven, five, one.
Oh, oh what a weave by Tyler. He had the wherewithal to just dodge that ball. Why does the ball always come to us? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and it's funny how nobody even tried to go pick it up. <laughs> So that's the recipe right there. Tyson needs to touch the ball a lot and really just have patience with that and look for the openings. Same take back. So um, Tyson and Nodowich were targeting Deckel, and that has, hasn't been the case in the last few points. Yeah, which is probably why they've been losing them. Well, right as you say that, they're going right back at, at their plan, their plan A. Okay, I like the two-point lead on, from McGuffin right and Barr. Yeah. Let's see one, two, what James Ignatowicz and Tyler Ling do here on the side out to gain some momentum. And let's see if they stick with the strategy of attacking Deckel. backhand slice versus Tyson McGuffin's forehand roll. I'm taking that forehand roll all day. tried to mix it up there if you notice he tried yes. to go inside out to Deckel then he tried to running around it to hit his forehand then he tried backhand slice again but inevitably Tyson still found his backhand uh, which led to the speed up by Deckel okay okay yeah there's one stop the timeout typically works. Yep. Yeah, and there it is. And yeah, the momentum's just right away. So let's see if now, after the timeout, they could actually gain some points. They gain the side out, but let's see how many points they gain here. Miscommunication right there on the right side of Tyler Loom. Sorry, his left side. <laughs> on the board. What hand speed by both parties. What's going on, James? Ball's coming so fast. Look how low Deco had to get. He got to a point where he was pretty much doing a limbo. Do they call that a scorpion? It's called a limbo in. Limboing? <laughs> He hit it from the side. It wasn't even above his head. Wow. Yeah. That goal is heating up as they earn a game point here. Oh, the ball went in. 
Can you believe that? No. <laughs> That's crazy. That was a prayer. Barely got his paddle there. So game point number two. Let's see if they could get it here. Bar. Tyson McGuffin force a game three on Ignatowicz. Here we are, Ted Alung on the far side. He's going to start game number three. Grandstand is jam packed. Here we go. Ooh, right off the bat, Tyson looking to be aggressive with that forehand. Just caught a little bit of that tape. Unlucky pulling that ball a little bit wide. One zero two. Speed-ups just keep getting bomb shots on Deckel. Off the net. Good hit. Oh. Unlucky on that net ball. Good get by Tyler to even make a recovery on that. up. Unreal. He did not want to get body bagged again. No way. He was ready for that early. One, two, one. It's tough. Lost his balance a little bit. As you can see, him kind of stumbled to the left. Much with that backhand. Notice how low he gets to the ground before he makes contact with that ball. It makes for a very spinny ball as it comes off the face of his paddle. Tyson having some trouble dealing with that action as it hit the ground, took off. Wasn't much you could do. step into that shot as he was a couple feet behind the yeah. uh, kitchen line. Too far Two back one, for that two. shot. Deckel taking advantage of his positioning. James with the miss serve into the tape, giving some life back to Tyson and Deckel. So good from all four players. What a joy to watch. One, two, two. Ooh, service winner for Tyson McGuffin. Okay. <laughs> He's in the lead with three. Two, two, two. Come on. Wow. So remember what we were saying earlier about the sides. Mm -hmm. You do feel a little bit of a breeze coming two, two, on one. with Tyson and Deckel having to fight against the breeze. Yeah. Too good on that flick by Deckel. Way to take advantage of that high ball that sat for a little bit too long. Go, 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 go. You, you, 
Successful earning. Okay. Yep. He's at three. <laughs> three, two, two. Oh, he had the ball he wanted, and you can tell he's upset with himself. Overly excited as this backswing got really big. Yeah, and what a great setup that he had there before he took that backswing. Go here, go here. Scorpion by Tyler Long. Something that Deco Barr is very familiar with. Hitting himself. Two, three, two. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Deco read that too. He was sitting on that ball, but it was just too low for him to counter. Back count. <laughs> we didn't know. Now we do. <laughs> Deco going for the body bag on Tyler as well. All right, ahead by three. This is. Yes, I was going to say, right time. this is the right time to take a time out. When you're, whenever you're, you know. And roll versus Tyler's backhand slice dink. Slice-dig backhand. You saw Tyler try to combat that by going up the line one time to Deckel's uh, left foot, and then they put it right back onto Tyler's slice-dig backhand, Incredible. creating the opportunity for the Ernie that mm -hmm. Deckel got. They got back on defense, came back at it, and won the point. And I put that on the Deckel count, Ernie. Mm -hmm. Great. Two, five, one. Here's the time to do some damage on the serving possession. Yep. Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it. It stays in. It went in. Oh my goodness. That ball stayed in. <laughs> They can't challenge that. They wanted to call that ball out, and they both really didn't get a good eye on it, so they wanted to challenge, but we don't do that here on Grandstand Court. Oh, and that's a big momentum swing right there. Look at Tyler upset with himself. It's a mental game now. Ooh, Deco Bar on his back foot there. But it's okay. They shaking have it a, off, shaking yeah, it off. Shaking off right away because yeah. they have a second service Four possession five, that they need to take care of. Right now. Mm -hmm. go, go, go. Yeah. Oh. James says not on my watch as he takes over the middle of that court. No chance of that ball coming back. Oh, 
Tyler was all over he that was shot, Walter. Totally was all over that. Five, four, two. <laughs> Inching for the Ernie. Both of them. That's a speed up. Him so many times. Yeah, and and I would just take it away from that spot. Don't just even put the ball there. No, don't put the ball there. And goal is keeping that Hi place man. in forehand roll dink to Tyler's Six, backhand four, slice dink. Whereas James's speed ups, at Deckel's body has been working for them on the other side of the court. Side wide open Let's go. with James having to cover too much court there. Four, six, one. Oh. You go, you go. Oh. Yeah. Speed up by James, successful again. They need to take that away from him right now and right quick as they're serving four, six, two. Four, six, two. He wants to give that shot to James, right. but if he moves a little too early, then Deckel's going to keep pulling the trigger. Right, and he should. He should do that. That's it. Oh, that just like I'm going to make a, I'm going to shot myself. Right. I'm going to pull a trigger myself right. because before you get a chance to pull the trigger. Exactly, exactly. Let's so see here who's we are. Faster. I know. <laughs> It's going to get crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wild Wild West out here. All right, ahead by one. Yeah. Looking to get some points here on this service possession. A little lob serve by Tyler. Come on. Yeah. Tyler played that out ball. He's literally right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, literally yeah. right there. He hit it right at his body. Seven, Just couldn't five, generate two. enough pace to come back off the paddle and make it go over the net. Come on. Come on. Keep track right there. Off his back foot. Too far back to really do too much with. And against the wind on top of that. Trying to show the Ernie, it, weight was going go. forward, but the ball came right back to his toes. Six, and he didn't seven, have enough time one. to get behind the ball to hit that ball, which is what made it go into the net. Oh, jeez. Oh. Tyler Wait, Loom. So he just jumped over the net with one leg. Yeah, let's Flip, watch, oh, watch. my gosh. Oh his my momentum God. carried oh him. <laughs> It's like oh, it's like Tyler doesn't want to take it. He wants James to yeah, take it. Yeah. But Tyler played so good in game and one aggressively. And that's his forehand. Oh, yes. Yeah. He needs to be aggressive on that. That's what made it's game number one so successful. Oh, that's so interesting that you mentioned 
watching that, just take a look at Tyler's demeanor right now, like what balls he goes for, how intense he is, how aggressive he is. He's James, kind of sitting back. Yeah, James trusts Taylor, but Tyler doesn't trust himself right now. That's the problem. Nine, seven, one. To do. Initiated to, by Tyler's forehand yes, flick, yes. closed out by James' forehand flick. So he needs to stay on top of that. And Tyson McGuffin away with two points. No. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That back. You read that like a book. So now that Tyler has kind of found a little bit of spark yeah, there, that could really change up. things. They can really change things right now. Yeah, and James knows it as he gets pumped up for this serve. he wants to flick from that position on his one-handed backhand. That's not the James shot that you want him to hit. Oh, wow. Deco is just clobbering the ball. James actually was waiting for that ball. Could not get it back over the net. And on that side that out, Tyson, Bark? Tyson Barks, we've had two. Within the last what, like? With, the, with that last minute? side out, with that <laughs> yeah. last side out. He has been barking it up. Nine, seven, one. Oh. Go, Tyler Williams saving a crazy shot off of the net and then following it up with an amazing Ernie. Let's go. That's four by Tyler for the game. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Turning it up is Tyler Loon. Giving his team another shot to come back and close this out. We have some intense fans here. Walter, this is I outrageous. Love I love it. This is where it's at. Okay, the servers are going to take the time, offensive time out here to see what they need to do. Sir, let's see what they do on Seven, this service nine, possession. That like mini split step that he does, where he does so many little tiny steps. <laughs> oh, that bounce! Oh, that was a bad bounce. Tyler a takes serve the winner. serve winner, so he's tied up with Tyson. Wow. Eight nine two. You. The but he's been spot. spinning up there because yep. he sees Tyler looking for the Ernie. That's the right spot. And Ignata, which hasn't been coming nope. over. And he tried that time, but he was late. He was late to the ball. what spot he put it in, same exact spot. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, our first match point of this game. What a turn of events. which is what caused him to be late on that ball. And the swipe motion that led that ball to go into that net. Oh, Tyson overzealous with that forehand. He did not need to hit that shot right there. This is a time for Looming Nodowich to get it together. They have to get it together here to tie it up. 
you. Me. Like Tyler comes in aggressive, yeah, you know, and they need him to keep doing that. Duckle and Tyson are going to keep going there because mm -hmm. that's what's given them the lead here in game number three. Oh, oh. Hold on. and a timeout. timeout. Oh, we yes. called a timeout. Yes, a perfect that's opportunity for really, a timeout. Really good timeout. Loopy serve. Mm -hmm. High percentage. Yeah. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. It's going to be a controversial play. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, the crowd. Oh, wow. So the ref isn't going to overturn it because she said she was watching his feet, which is, as you know, pretty much the standard response by a lot of these refs. It's their call. It's Tyson and Deckel's call. But Tyler's not happy with that call. He, got, he has to let that go. He has well, to move on right away. It's too tight of a game for him to linger. Too much. Can't handle this. Oh my goodness. And now, Tyler Loom, James Ignatowicz right with now. their match point. What is going to happen now? the side out, but look, they came all the way back. They were down match point. Yep. They took the lead here. So now Tyson McGuff and Deckelbar need to work it. another pop-up and gave them the opportunity to maintain their aggressiveness. What a point. So no match points for anyone. It is all tied up. 11-11. Oh, Tyler trying to be aggressive there, which is what we said was one of the recipes, but he overdid it there. This is so crazy. From a match point to another on the other side. <laughs> Twelve, eleven, one. 